John from the company Adapa in Denmark, and uh, I'm the chief sales officer. We are selling a machine that we have manufactured for several years that do curb surfaces. Uh, so it's a robotic, uh, reconfigurable mold that are used instead of one-off molds. You know, it, it works just like one-off molds, other than you can use it again and again because it uh, generates a shape based on the 3D file that you're doing. So it's a machine that, uh, that goes up and down into different curvatures, into different geometries, uh, and it's operated by the 3D file that you create in the CAT system. So can you give me an example of the type of parts you would make on this kind of system? Yeah, it's, uh, it's a large var variety. Uh, so it falls within both uh, architecture and also uh, industries uh, such as aerospace, automotive, uh, shipyards, and so on. So wherever there is a curve, uh, there is a potential use of our adaptive mold. If you do casting, thermoforming, uh, infusion, and so on. And we do actually make molds for both composites, but also for concrete. So uh, we, s we have a large span of uh, adaptive molds for different applications. Now I know the mold that you have on in here is fairly small, but the molds yeah. that you make for production are probably in a range of sizes? Yeah, you know, they go up from, from this small size uh, to uh, something like 10 by 10 meters. So, uh, yeah, and they are all pretty simple to operate. Uh, this one is operated by uh, a tablet, and you just uh, choose the 3D file the, that you want to do, the shape, and press start. And then it goes up into uh, the desired shape, and you can start casting or shaping on top of the mold. So, um, you can do infusion? Yeah. on this surface. And what is the top surface, the membrane? The top surface here is a silicon composite membrane. Uh, it is uh, ferromagnetic. It lies upon a layer oh, wow. of magnets. Okay. The magnets keep the membrane down into the curved shape. And uh, the magnets are placed on a rod system. The rod system uh, sits on actuators that are positioned by electrical stepper motors. And the electrical stepper motors just uh, do what uh, the control unit tells them to do based on the 3D file. So there's no programming. Compared to uh, one-off molding, everything here is reused. Compared to CNC milling, uh, you know, you don't have to wait uh, for the CNC milling machine to do a surface, and you don't have to program this. It's based on the same 3D file as the designer or architect are using. Now, I know they've been using the system to thermoform cores as well. Yeah, uh, it has been used to uh, thermoform core materials for boats, ship, ships, sail ships. Uh, and that, is, uh, that has reduced the, the weight by 15% and perhaps even more. And that also reduces uh, the resin uh, use instead of using pre-cut uh, uh, core materials, you do thermoforming, shape it on top of our mold, uh, and then gains the weight reduction. So quite brilliant. Uh, and uh, see more and more shipyards that uh, have the interest of that use. Is it hard to learn how to use the system? Uh, you know, uh, I'm here on, the, on a booth with Metix USA and uh, they are a composite uh, manufacturer. And uh, the CEO uh, learned it in five minutes. So that, you know, that, that means that it's pretty easy.